What's up guys, Econ John here. Welcome back to our series on the Shapiro Stiglitz model. In this video, we're gonna talk about the employment status and the welfare of our workers. Let's go. So the main decision that has to be made in this model is by the workers who are employed regarding whether or not they shirk. This decision depends on how much a worker values being employed, unemployed, or shirking. To solve for these values, we use dynamic programming where we consider the solution for a small interval and then extend the solution for all other periods. We will be assuming that time can be divided into infinitesimal intervals of delta t, and that if a worker loses his job, he cannot search for another job until the beginning of the next interval. We'll let delta t approach zero in our analysis, so the wait time between intervals becomes largely irrelevant, so workers can move between being employed and unemployed with ease, and we don't create this category of not being in the labor force. It should be noted as well that unemployed workers find work at a rate of A, which acts in place of the job breakup rate B when compared to employed workers. This will be important when we analyze how workers value being unemployed. So the value of being unemployed during the interval of length delta T and exerting effort is given by the following equation, where VE at delta T is equal to the integral of the discount factor by the probability of remaining employed times the utility over the interval zero and delta t plus the consumer discount factor of the next interval times the continuation value or which is the expected value of the next period if we were to compute the integral and solve for ve at delta t we would go and get the following where our key result should be in the green box here, which is VE at interval delta T is equal to one over rho plus B times W minus E bar plus one over one minus E raised to the power of negative rho plus B times delta T. Multiply that by E raised to the power of negative rho delta T times one minus E raised to the power of negative B delta T times the value of being employed at an interval of length delta t. By the definitions defined earlier, VE is found as we take the limit of the above as delta t approaches zero. And the same could be said for VU at delta t. Um, taking this limit, right, we find that this last little chunk is a indeterminate, meaning that we have a zero over zero situation. And if we have that, we appeal to something called L'Hopital's rule. I mean, you probably learned this in you know, your introductory calculus class, but if you have an indeterminate limit over here, you just take the derivative of the top and bottom and you take that limit again, right? And that's your result. So the last clean result that we have for the value of being employed is one over rho plus B times W minus E bar plus B times the value of being unemployed. So now let's talk about the value of shirking. For the value of shirking, we simply look at our employment equation from before being the following. If we were to rearrange this equation, we go and get the following relation where we have rho times VE is equal to W minus E bar plus B times VU minus VE. Or it could be written as rho VE is equal to W minus E bar minus B times VE minus VU, right? We're just going in switching this around by changing the sign. Note that when shirking, our worker exerts no effort. So this E term goes away and they face a detection rate which augments their job breakup rate at rate Q. Thus, we can go and further write this relation as the following. Further algebra goes and gives us this nice clean equation boxed in over here where our value of shirking is equal to W plus B plus Q times VU all over rho plus B plus Q. So now let's talk about the value of being unemployed. The value of being unemployed can be further found using the VE equation, the value of being unemployed. What we know is that a worker pay, gets paid zero when they're unemployed and exerts no effort when they're unemployed. They face no job breakup rate because they have no job. They find, however, uh, work at rate A, which acts in place of B over here. This means that if we were to go and take the relation from before, right, and what I'm literally just doing, right, as in I haven't really seen anything else that you're just going and changing VE to VU. And 
it's because the nature of our problem just goes and change because you're dropping out both W and both E. So this whole relation goes and changes. And to get that stock value, we have VU is equal to A times VE all over rho plus A. This implies that the value of being unemployed depends on how our individual values being employed in conjunction with the subjective discount factor and the job finding rate A. This, however, is not completely solved since VE and VU are both determined by each other. Fortunately, we can solve for the difference between VE and VU and close the model by identifying our no shirking condition. We'll see that in our next video though. So I'll see you there.